Alright, video review of the LED grow light. Here is the unit itself. It comes with an instruction sheet and four mounting flexible steel rod, um, cables with a, uh, a hook to and some nuts and bolts to allow you to mount these to the device itself. You can see it has these holes that go all the way through and the screw would go all the way through there and then you would have the cables coming out on the back side. You have four of them and then you could suspend this on the ceiling wherever you're going to put this to keep it close to your growing plants. Now I plugged this in already. It's very bright. I'm going to uh, just quickly go over some of the uh, specifications on this before I power it and do some lumen tests on it. From what I've read, the there's red and there's blue LEDs on here, and the uh, red ones are for when the plant is flowering already, and the blue is for when it is still in the soil. The blue will penetrate the soil and help the seedlings to come through. Um, in terms of the specs of this device, the model is the U11. It's got a maximum of 45 watts. And there's 310, I'm sorry, there's 165 red LEDs and 60 blue LEDs. So there's a little more red wavelength for when it starts to flower the plant. It's about 2.2 pounds weight. Works with uh, AC 100 to 240 volts, 300 milliamps pretty efficient, 50 to 60 hertz. Now the red wavelength, they say 626 and 30 nanometers, and the blue is 460 to 470. And um, so the illumination or, radi or radiation area is 1.5 square meters. So I assume that means it's one and a half meters by one and a half meters. Um, which seems about right based on the light that I saw on this thing. Of course, it's got a lifespan of about 50,000 hours because they're LEDs. So let's uh, test it, turn it on, and uh, let's see how it uh, performs. It comes with a uh, an AC power cord with the ground, and it's almost six feet long, which is nice. And on the side here, you can see it has a receptor for that plug. Now there's no power switch on this device so when you uh, plug it in you have to put your power switch on your AC power if you, if you want to do that. I'm going to plug it into 110 volts right here and measure the, uh, the wattage. It is very bright. Just blew my eyes out. I'm sure it's overexposed in the camera too. Um, so this is showing me it's showing, let's see, it's showing 35, 35 watts, which is correct, which translates to about half an amp only. And that translates to a kilowatt hour, it's really registering. So you can see this is very efficient. It's also extremely bright. I'll be seeing stars for about a week now. Now, I'm going to try and get some measurements of the uh, deluxe of this light. So I have it set up on a table. And I have a lux meter. And it's about one meter away. And I measure the light to be about one and a half meters by one and a half meters, which is what they rated it as. So at about a meter away, I'm getting 3540 lux which is pretty bright. Um, it's hard to convert that to lumens. Um, based on lumens, it would probably be about a quarter of that based on that uh, one and a half square meter spec that they gave. So that's pretty respectful. Um, that means to me that you want to put the light about a meter away from your plants 
and that's a pretty large area that you could be uh, growing in which is 1.5 by 1.5 meters so I had this thing running for about uh, 10 minutes now and I just want to take a measurement of the temperature to show uh, how cool it's running on the back it's about 80 degrees on this back cardboard piece and the front about 87 degrees so that's that's amazing what a amount of light this is producing that's what's so cool about these LEDs so my overall impression of this product is I really like it I think it's very bright I think it'll work nicely um, the wavelength seems to be chosen correctly the power level seems to be great to grow something uh, one and a half meters by one and a half meters, which is a pretty big uh, surface area. Um, I like the materials and I like the quality of the way of the build. So I'm going to give this a five star rating and I hope this video review helped you with your buying choices. Thanks for watching.